What's up you guys, Matt Tebow here with Savant Marketing Agency and in this video we're going to talk about how you can use holidays and events in your marketing campaigns to be able to grab people's attention and essentially piggyback off of that attention instead of fighting it. Now if you're watching this video you might be asking yourself like why do I need to do holiday marketing right and you know I actually asked myself the same thing a little bit ago admittedly I'm kind of guilty actually of not taking advantage of marketing through holiday seasons and using those holidays as a way to get attention and market and promote uh, our company you know I've done it a little bit where you know every now and then I'll pull something out like that but I haven't done it as strategically as what I'm going to be doing uh, at the time of recording this video going into Q4 of 2024 and I want to share with you guys my thinking on this so that you can do the same exact thing in your contracting business so that you can grab that attention and hopefully make a bunch of money so um, let's jump right into things here so I just want to share first off of like why this actually matters right so some people might see doing marketing during the holiday seasons like Christmas or Valentine's or any of these kind of things as like almost gimmicky like a little bit tacky and I want to squash that belief because the reality is is that anytime that there's any kind of holiday or major event like a sporting event or just world event, like even like Olympics or something like that people's attention is going towards that thing right because there's a lot of different media sources that are saying like check this out and, and disseminating that type of media right and so people's attention are focused on that thing and so their reticular activating system which is something in your brain that basically filters out things of where your attention should be focusing on is going to be focused on that right and so if someone is hearing you know, you know if someone knows that like valentine's day is coming up then if you are doing any kind of promotion that's using the term valentine's day or you're using that in your marketing then that is going to uh, get a lot of attention. I'm just using Valentine's Day as an example. It could be Christmas, Halloween, anything. It could be a sporting event. But it's the attention is what you want to piggyback off of, right? Because let's say that it's Christmas time and you're trying to market your company and you are doing marketing that's not related to Christmas in any way people's attention is being diverted to Christmas, right? And so you're basically fighting against that attention, right? You're, you're fighting up against that and you're not really flowing with the attention that already exists, right? Picture a river basically, right? Or a stream or whatever flowing of water, right? Just picture that. It's a lot easier to flow with that water going downstream than trying to canoe you know up that stream right and it's the same exact thing with your marketing so if you have a holiday instead of trying to fight against that attention you should go with it and so I want to just give you you know some really quick ideas that you can use uh, going into Q4 because we still have some time here for you to try this out and I just want to give you some really good ideas like I said so you know right now at the time of recording this video we're going into October and October is known for Halloween, right? And so Halloween is at the very end of October. So what that means is that you literally have a whole month of October to use Halloween as a way to market your business. Now, when I say this, people might picture like some tacky type of promotion or discount offer or something like that. It doesn't need to be that. Basically what you could do though is you can build a whole campaign for a month based around the idea of Halloween. And so Halloween the theme of it is all about like ooh scary, right? And you could use this for anything. So for example, for Halloween, the type of messaging that you could use if you're a painter would be something like um, you know, are the like uh, you know, is your is your bathroom looking pretty scary right now, you know? Like you can give it a little fresh up, blah, blah, blah. Like you can use that phrase of like, is, there's nothing scarier than this, you know? Or is your, is your living room looking a little frightening right now, you know? So you can use that kind of like language even and maybe dress up kind of funny or uh, do something to get people's attention that's clearly Halloween themed. So then you're kind of using recent and happening events and then you're tying it to your business, right? And so literally you could just, like let's say you're a painter, you could just be like, 
oh, like there's nothing scarier than having, you know, old paint uh, and like having a chipped up, you know, uh, paint uh, like on the exterior of your home. And you can have like a, a crazy scream or something and just show, you know, a super ugly chipping exterior of a home and say, that's why for this month we're offering X, Y, Z and, you know, we can help you with this or whatever, right? And so that is something you could do literally all month long. And there's endless angles to play off of for that. So it's basically just giving you an excuse to be able to market your business um, pretty much unapologetically um, for the entire month of Halloween there, right? So you could do a whole Halloween campaign and then going into November, November, I think the 29th is Black Friday, right? So now you've got a whole month of November of doing Black Friday and the Black Friday narrative can be save, you know, like we're doing this, maybe, maybe it's something like lock in this year's prices and then we'll get the job done in spring and then you'll save, right? So you can put down a deposit and then in spring we'll do your job and you'll save or something like that because people are being programmed all throughout Black Friday to buy something, right? Like they're just seeing ads everywhere and saying like, buy this, buy that. So people are like, well, I guess I should probably buy something. So you might as well jump on that train and use that to your advantage, trying to put out some marketing that has that narrative of like save for Black Friday. You could do it for the entire month. It doesn't even need to be for just that Friday. You can say Black Friday month or something like that. So now you got November covered, right? And then we all know what happens in December. We've got Christmas, right? And so it's like Christmas, what's on people's minds too, is like the holidays, maybe taking some time off, uh, gift giving, right? So the narrative for Christmas could be something like, you know, give your, uh, give your family the gift of having a beautiful home, right? Or something like that. Um, or, hey, like we're doing this special right now. Uh, we're, we're Santa Claus, ho, ho, ho. Like let's give us, uh, give you the gift of these incredible savings or something like that, right? Et cetera, et cetera, you get the deal. But you can use these holidays for like the entire month and then just do a whole marketing campaign based around that. And honestly, we all know that like Q4 and then usually like January, uh, January, February are usually kind of like the slower seasons for uh, like painters, uh, landscapers, those types of businesses. And so these are really good ways to be able to keep attention on your company and be able to do these creative marketing angles to be able to still get people's attention and be able to get deposits and commitments for spring or just get people to squeeze something in for you know the, the last final Q4, depending on where you live and your weather and all that. Um, but I just wanted to jump on here and share with you just some of those ideas because there's no reason why you can't do this and what does it look like? I mean, all it looks like is just, you know, doing a simple Facebook ad uh, that is, you know, um, uh, uh, holiday themed. You could put like a bit of a timer on it so you can say, hey, like this Halloween, you know, there's nothing scarier than this. Uh, we want to be able to help you. So for a limited time this month only, we're offering X, Y, Z. Give us a call, you know. It could be simple Facebook posts. It doesn't even have to be an ad. But what I want to just come on here is just share these ideas with you and start implementing holiday marketing uh, in your company. And not even just holidays, it can be events as well. Uh, recently we had a painter and there was a pretty big sporting event going on in his city and we just built a whole campaign based around that sporting event and said, hey, if you're a fan of this team, you know, uh, and you're looking forward to the game, like show this ad and we'll include XYZ for free for your job, et cetera, et cetera. So like you can use these events and these important, um, these important like holidays and stuff as a way of getting people's attention, especially if they're time sensitive because these days pass. So you're able to use that as like scarcity in your marketing. Hey, this is ending on this day, right? So I wanted to jump on here, like I said, share this idea. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, um, leave me a comment, let me know. Maybe you didn't find it helpful. Leave a comment as well. Um, if you are enjoying these videos and you want more of them coming your way, hit the subscribe button and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next one.